Hello TI enthusiasts. I'm going to show you TINet today. It's a really cool project um, that TKB Studios has been working on and he has a lot of future plans for it like multiplayer games and email and CHTML so like websites um, and tons of other stuff. I know multiplayer chess is a work in progress right now um, by some other members of their discord. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to show you how to install TI not into your calculator from the beginning where you won't have any problems, hopefully. And if you do, um, join the Discord and put them in hashtag forum. All right, so you're going to want to go to um, tinet.tkbstudios.com. I'll have the link in the description, and you're going to register. And I'm already registered, so it just logged me in. But once you're registered, log in, and you're going to see this dashboard. Now, this dashboard is going to have your key file for your calculator, which is basically your kind of like your password so the your calculator can log you in. So you're going to download that. And as you can see, it downloaded here. So download that. And you're going to have to download a couple of other things. So you're going to want to download the official release of TINet. So I'm going to go over here. And on this is the docs. I'll also put this in the description. Um, you're going to want to download the client and you're going to download the bridge. And make sure that these are the dev versions that you're downloading. See how this one? Okay, that's the normal version. See this pre release right here? I want to go to assets and I'm going to hit TINet that X, 8XP. So that downloaded there. Now here's the bridge and you're going to want to change this branch to dev because the dev is just more updated and less buggy also and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit code and then you're going to hit download zip now in the discord there is and i'll give you a link to the discord in the announcements he created an exe file for windows users to make it easier we don't have to install python and all of this and run this bridge um, so I will also link an invite to the Discord. So one more thing you're going to want to download also is Cesium. I'll also leave a link to the description for this. So you'll just go down here and click cesium.zip. And then that's downloaded. So the last thing that is required, uh, no matter what version uh, your OS is, is the C libs, the C libraries. So this link right here, tiny.cc slash clibs, will take you to that. I'll also have that into the description. It'll take you to a GitHub, and you're just going to click clibs.axg. If you're on Chrome OS, you'll have to do clibs separately in zip and send those separately. But we're on Windows, so we have those all those files downloaded. If your OS is 5.6 or higher, you need Artifice installed. I will also link this into the description. So you're going to hit the uh, artifice.axg. X8V, and if you don't have Cambry Jr., also download that. Most calculators come with Cambry Jr. at 5.0. So now that you have all those things downloaded, you're going to want to open, this is for Windows, open TI Connect C on other platforms. The docs shows you how you can do that. Chrome OS is a little finicky. Uh, make sure you use TI Calc that link on that because you can't send over locked programs. But here on Windows, we're going to... Um, I'm going to show you how to plug in your calculator, and then we're going to show you how to transfer those files over. So I'm just going to start by turning the calculator on, and then you're going to want this U mini USB cord. It's usually black, mine's white, but that comes with the calculator. I'll leave a link in the description on one on Amazon that you can get for super cheap if you don't have yours. You're going to plug it into this end, and then you're going to plug the other end into your computer. Okay, so now that we have those files downloaded, I put them in a folder. You don't have to do this. I just did this to help organize the video. You're going to want to extract, extract the cesium.zip with whatever you use to extract. Uh, I have it extracted right here, so we can go in here and we can see all these files. We only need this one. So we're going to start off by opening TI Connect CE. And I'll take a second. Once your calculator is plugged in, you're going to want to click this little file tab and we're going to drag things but if you can't drag things just use this little uh, computer with an arrow so now that we have that um, i'm just going to organize things a little bit um, this and then this here so um, 
we have the you click this tab and then you can see all the files here this is my calculator so what you're going to do is you're going to start off with cesium and you're going to want to drag this cesium or upload it with the and then that can go to ram send that okay calculator's busy make sure your calculator's not running any programs for like right now mine was um so you're going to drag that send to ram and you shouldn't get any errors um now we're gonna go, we're gonna drag, we're gonna click, I'm holding control and clicking these to make it easier, but you can also just do them individually. We're gonna drag these over. And these are just any archivist is going to RAM. These two are going to archive, perfect. This is what you want. Unless you want to, if you, unless you think your calculator might um, get reset, like by test mode or something, um, your artifice is fine in the RAM. It will be deleted though if it's not an archive. So I'm just gonna put mine in an archive. So I sent those over. One thing I forgot to mention was also you you have to have the C libs. So uh, I showed you how to download this a minute ago. Make sure you transfer those also, and these are all going to the archive. Uh, make sure you have replaced existing content so it updates them if you already have them. So another thing we're gonna want to do now is I'm gonna launch the bridge from the exe that was made. Um, if you're not on Windows, then I'd recommend, then you have to use the Python script. Okay, so now that I have started the bridge on the computer side, I have my calculator plugged in. You're gonna want to open Cesium um, by going to apps and then scrolling down to Cesium. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak it first. So you're gonna go to apps, Cabri Jr. You're going to hit enter and you're going to go down to open. If this menu is not here, just hit alpha and then F1. So you're going to go open artifice and then you're going to go down to cesium. Uh, my cesium is already st installed, so it's fine. But that will install it and then you hit mode to exit that. But yeah, so now I'm going to launch cesium. I've just done artifice and I'm going to go down to TI, TI net, scroll all the way down. You will see this screen. Now keep in mind the bridge has to be running, which it is, and it's connected. Um, um, I'm gonna make sure that my uh, there we go. So I unplugged my I had to unplug my character and plug it back in. But you can see on the bridge it locked me in. Now make sure never to sh share or give anyone your key file because that's your login. Um, so I'm just gonna click log in. <coughs> so I'm just gonna click log in and hit enter. And now you can see update. Do not press this, it will, it will break it. This is still in dev version. But then click TI Net Chat. And now I can test this. And hopefully, um, I will get a response from someone. So I did that in weird caps. Um, and on the Discord channel, it's Bridge of the Discord. So I can say, Hi, YouTube. And you can see that here, log for Jake on Discord. Hi YouTube, I was on TCP because that's what the calculator uses. Um, yeah, so that works, which is pretty cool. And you have capitalized, that's lowercase, and then you can do capitalized by hitting alpha, and then that's your, your letters or in capitalizations. So I can do, hello, this core. And yep, that's how it works. And then you can just hit clear to back out of that and that will take you outside of the program. But yeah, so that's how you do that. And that's how you use it so far. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps some people. Um, so have a good, great rest of your day and I hope that worked for you. And please join the Discord or put it in the comments if you have any questions and put them in hashtag forum. And there's also the docs, which I'll leave in the description, which gives a really good overview um, and that you can read and has links and stuff on how to do this. But yeah, I hope that helps some people and have a great rest of your day.